Hello everybody, this is Napa Fan here, and this is qualifying for race number six in season number three of the NOFSRL Arca Racing Series, presented by Krispy Kreme. It is November, favorite month of the year. It's finally here. I love this month so much. Where I live, that's when the trees get all pretty. Doesn't happen until this month, but it happens. And I'm glad it does, because I think it looks very nice. And uh, this is the first time that the Arca series will be at Pocono this season. First of two times. There will be another Pocono race three weeks from now for these guys. Tomorrow's Pocono Arca 200 will be a 16 lap race when we come here. Uh, I believe it'll be Thanksgiving weekend. Be Thanksgiving Friday. It's going to be Black Friday. We have the Mod Space 150. And uh, that'll be a 12 lap race. For this weekend, the Arca Series and the Turkey Hill Truck Series are both at Pocono. But the Arca Series is longer than the Truck Series race. Tomorrow's Arca race will be 16 laps. Saturday mornings, Pocono Mountains 150 in the Turkey Hill Truck Series will be 12 laps long. And they will both be premiered live right here on Napa Fan. Of course, last weekend's races were premiered live as well. Um, and uh, we're definitely looking forward to this new feature we got for the races. You guys can interact as the race goes on, even though it's not actually going on live, but you guys are seeing it live. So I think that's pretty cool. Either way, we're here at Pocono. Looking to set the starting lineup for the Pocono Arca 200. Colton Yeo will be the first driver to complete a full lap under speed. And uh, we got the new sound pack for the Arca series now. We did not have it at Toledo last weekend, but uh, now we do, and I like this sound pack. A little more realistic. We'll see where Colton Yeo flies in on the leaderboard. These guys are probably going to be able to complete three laps around this racetrack, maybe four. Colton Yeo goes to a 57.586. As a matter of fact, the number 10 has actually gotten a lap in before he did. That's Julio Caesar. He was the first guy to complete a full lap under speed. The points are very tight and literally as tight as you can get. Derek Hamill is the points leader because he does have a victory and the guy he's tied with in the points standings for the points lead is Ryan Kinghart. They both have 125 points towards the championship coming into this event. Fisher G is only one point behind the winner at Michigan three weeks ago. Daytona winner Julius Anderson is only two points behind. And defending ARCA champion Nathan Stapleton is seven points behind coming into this event. Julio Caesar fastest right now in the number 10. Now it is Jack Cabarrus. Now it is the 41 of Matthew Phillips. If I'm not mistaken, Matthew Phillips might have almost won this race, uh, won here at Pocono in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series when we came here back in, I think it would have been July when we were here, quite a while ago. I mean, heck, it's already November. That's, uh, that's kind of hard to believe. Ryan Kinghart is second. That's huge for the tied points leader. He's tied with Derek Campbell, but he's not the official points leader. Because Hamill does have the victory, which effectively gives Hamill the tiebreaker. He just went to third. Hamill's teammate, Lauren Martinez, just went to second. She was up there in the points a little earlier on in the season. Trey Wright just went to third. Julio Caesar just went to fourth. They only have a few guys who have gone under 57 seconds. And the fastest in town is still Matthew Phillips in the 41. Jack Cabarrus, and now we got a new fast guy in town. His name is Juan Garcia. He, along with Trey Barto, who grabbed his first career Napa fan win here at Pocono, and the number two of Nick Kennedy all went top three positions on the board. Matthew Phillips, the 28 machine of Isaac Redmond is fifth. Julius Anderson, Nathan Stapleton, Lauren Martinez, and the 52. Oh boy, a little edgy right there with Marty Johnson getting in the Juan Garcia. The 52 machine of Adam Lewis rounding out the top 10. 
there's Lewis. He's fell back a little bit more as Julio Caesar went to second. He knocks off the eight, or the 18 from the second position, I should say, but it is still Juan Garcia fastest. So now that they're in these small little packs, the speeds have picked up a little bit out of some of these guys. Julio Caesar's gotten faster every single lap he's run in this session. You see him right there, he's got just enough of a draft on the 57 machine of Trey Wright. Marty Johnson the ninth, that's exactly what he needs to see. I believe he is last in the points coming into this event. Ryan Kinghart is 10th fastest in the number 66 as our tied points leader. Gotta find where Derek Hamill is as he is tied with the number 66. Hamill is 25th, Fisher G is another important guy. Fisher G is 12th fastest right now as he's only one point behind and even Julius Anderson who is fourth fastest right now. You might want to watch for Julius Anderson because if they finish the way they're going to start tomorrow, the way it looks like they're going to start, Julius Anderson would retake the points lead away from Hamill and Fisher G and Ryan Kinghart. And that's how it's going to go. Juan Garcia on the pole for tomorrow's Pocono Arca 200. Julio Caesar alongside him, Trey Bartow, Julius Anderson, Nick Kennedy, Nathan Stapleton, Matthew Phillips, Isaac Redman, Marty Johnson, and Ryan Kinghart. That's the top 10 starting positions for tomorrow's Arca Racing Series presented by Krispy Kreme Race. Take a look at the rest of the results. I do not believe we had any ties. A place like this usually does not see any ties. Um, and even considering we actually broadcast qualifying and we do it in the practice session, we usually do not get too many ties um, anymore, which is good. Uh, but if there were, we would properly break them. But there are none, so that is how they will line up for tomorrow's 16 lap event here from the Tricky Triangle of Pocono in Long Pond, Pennsylvania. Very close to Blakesley, Pennsylvania. I was up there for the IndyCar race. I know all those little towns now. Uh, that are up there by the racetrack, and uh, it's it's a pretty neat little place. But uh, this place ain't little. This is actually tied long, actually second, third longest racetrack we go to in the Arca Series because we have Watkins Glen is the longest, and then Talladega, and then a tie between Pocono and Daytona. Uh, but you didn't need to know that. Juan Garcia will start on pole tomorrow. Let's go ahead and get the trucks out here to qualify for the Pocono Mountains 150, which will be run Saturday morning. But uh, congratulations to Juan Garcia. And the Pocono Arca 200 will be premiered at 5 p.m. Eastern tomorrow, right here on Napa Fan. I will see you guys later. Hello, everybody. This is Napa Fan here, and this is qualifying for race number six in season number five of the NOFSRL Turkey Hill Truck Series. We are here at the Pocono Raceway in Long Pond, Pennsylvania, for the Pocono Mountains 150 Saturday morning. Only a 12 lap event, so a very short one, so these guys better qualify well if they're going to have a shot at the victory Saturday morning because you're going to want to start up front for this event. And here's Audra Baranowskis, she is not the points leader anymore, only 9 points behind though, behind Andrew Ross who had a solid run at Texas last weekend, 153 points towards the championship for him. Baranowskis, who had led since Atlanta, heading into the race at Texas. It's now only nine points behind, but uh, still a very solid season for her. And she's going to look to get the pole here today. Gatlin Downey's out on the racetrack. Ashlyn Boyd, Eric Monaco. He just moved himself inside the top five in points. Only 33 off Andrew Ross. There's Joe Jefferson, Igor Barreto. Joe Rutkowski, Mitchell Collins, Nicholas Samadio had a Texas race to forget. Dale Salzman ran right into him, and uh, Samadio fell quite a ways through the field. There's Eli Bright, 63 at Jackson Bell. Matt Tuck in the 51, who won the Chick-fil-A Cup Series race here back in July. So he knows his way around the tricky triangle. There's John Art in the 05, fourth in the points, only 18 behind. It's been a very solid season for that 05 team this season. A lot better than last season for John Art. Daniel McMillan, number 52 is out here. Audra Baranowskis will be the first dropper to complete a full lap under speed here in the Pocono Mountains 150 qualifying session. 
67, Michael Canto, Johnny Gardner, Roger Ray. Roger Ray won two weeks ago at Charlotte. We'll have to see what he can do here in this session. Gatlin Downey right now, the fastest guy in town. He got a lot of drafting help from these guys ahead of him, so that's why he's got the fastest time right now. As you can see, they're quite all over the place on this racetrack. Going too wide here in qualifying. There's Garrett Sonor. It's been a very solid season for Garrett Sonor so far. He's sixth in the points coming into this event. So great to see him do very well. Gatlin Downey still fastest. Ashlyn Boyd, Audra Baranowskis, Eric Monaco, Joe Jefferson the second. There's our last winner here in the Turkey Hill Truck Series. The 42 of Tristan Allen, Joe Rutkowski, and Mitchell Collins. A tag team effort by those guys to get to the top two positions with Rutkowski holding on to the fastest time so far in qualifying. But in his way is now John Arndt. You got a draft of a Matt Tuck. And now John Arndt's got the fastest time here at Pocono. Very huge opportunity for the 05. If he could start on pole, maybe get the win tomorrow. That could put him in the points lead heading into Chicagoland next weekend, next Friday night. We will have a Saturday morning event this weekend. And uh, haven't had a Saturday morning race since Rockingham. Yeah. So it's been a while since these guys have raced on a Saturday morning. But that race will premiere 9 a.m. Eastern. And when I say premiere... Using that new uh, YouTube feature called YouTube Premiere. So, kind of be like a live stream. But, not really because we're not actually doing it live. But you get to watch it live with everybody else, all your friends. and Chime in on what you think's going on. These guys are good. Joe Rutkowski and Mitchell Collins are actually on opposite teams. GL Racing for Joe Rutkowski and Phillips and other sports for Mitchell Collins. And they're 1-2 again. And hello, Garrett Sinor to the top of the board in the number 16 machine. Roger Ray is now second fastest. And Noah Clifton just took the third fastest time. But there's your fastest guy in town. It's Garrett Sinor, who is going for his first win on Napa Fan in, I think it's pretty much been a year. I can't remember when last year's Armory Digital Race was. I know it was in November, and I'm pretty sure it was the first race in November last year. And uh, that's the last time Garrison Earl went the victory lane on Apophan. He would love to return. He's got a good shot tomorrow, but Dale Salzman looking to get some redemption from what happened to him at Texas last weekend. And let me tell you, that was a very frustrating race for him. He started top 10 in that thing. Had an issue, came out onto the racetrack, ran right into Nicholas Samidio, and uh, practically finished in last. I think he did finish in the final position, but uh, he just took the fastest time. Roger Ray, Gatlin Downey moving up the second and third, while Dale Salzman holds on to the fastest time in Pocono qualifying. So great run there for the number 35 team, AG Autosport. Their team owner, Ace Garcia, pretty much a home race for him. We'll have to see. This is going to be it for the session. I don't believe it will. I think we'll get some extra time after the clock runs out here. There's Matt Dahlia, last week's pole sitter. He got a great run either way. I believe he finished fourth at Texas, so he definitely capitalized on starting on the pole last weekend. He is uh, currently 19th fastest. Our points leader, Andrew Ross, is 13th fastest. That's a very good starting position for him on the inside lane. So watch out for him if he does, in fact, stay there for this qualifying session. We'll try to locate him on the racetrack, and there he is. John Art just went back to the top, and a quick run for him. And that's going to do it. I think John Art's got the pole now. How about that for the 05 team? J. Wong Racing, they knock off Dale Salzman late in the session. And John Art will lead the field of green flag racing tomorrow, Saturday morning. Not tomorrow. Tomorrow's Drivers, the Arca race. Saturday morning for the Pocono Mountains 150. We had a couple of ties out there on the racetrack. Michael Canto and Jesse Turner. I don't know who has it on the other for that one. I think it might be Canto. Mitchell Collins and Zachary DeLello tied. I believe DeLello's got that on Mitchell Collins. The other one, Ashlyn Boyd and Emily Anderson. I'm going to have to look at the points for that one. Uh, but other than that, that is how they will line up for tomorrow's. For Saturday mornings, why do I keep on doing that? Because, you know, we used to always do the qualifying session, and the next day we have the race. 
Um, that's not the case for the Turkey Hill Truck Series when they race on Saturdays because we do qualifying Thursday and then have the race on Saturday morning. Uh, for the day races, at least. Night races are always Friday night, but either way, that's how they line up Saturday morning for the Bocono Mountains 150. Only 12 laps, so a very short race. So those guys in the back probably are not going to have a shot at victory. See Tristan Allen back there after the win at Texas. 29 fastest. Not the way he wanted this session to go. Uh, but uh, take a look at our points leader there. Uh, Andrew Russ starting 13th. That's great for him. We'll have to see if he can capitalize on that and stay in the points lead. But John Arn, only 18 points off the points lead, is going to start on the pole. We'll have to see if that turns to a victory Saturday morning here at Pocono. Tomorrow, it's the Pocono Arc at 200. That's a 16 lap race for the Arc guys, so that's actually longer than the truck race, but uh, we already went through that. Um, that'll premiere at 5 p.m. Eastern tomorrow, right here on Napa Fan. And then 9 a.m. Eastern, the Pocono Mountains 150 premieres here. On that so thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you guys later